Morning guys, how are we all doing? Hope we're all well. Um, got another car in, obviously, the workshop today next to it, and it's a big old beast of a car. Really liking this one, to be honest. Um, I'll show you the front end in a sec, it looks so cool. Uh, but firstly, thank you so, so much, guys, for the support and the likes and everything else you've put on that Supra build. Um, it's done really well, in my opinion. First few days, we've had hundreds of views, and that is awesome for me. Um, I'm not a big YouTuber, I don't expect 10,000 views in my first week. That would just be nuts, to be fair. Um, I don't know where I'm walking, I'm walking out here now. Let me go back into where the car is. Um, so yeah, thank you so, so much for that, guys. It's a really good thing to see all those like and support and everything else. Um, and I'm glad you like the video by the looks of it. If you haven't seen that, go and check that out. Just search my tool, uh, my um, little drop down box. You'll find Mark V Supra, custom build, all those sort of works should bring it up. Um, but right today, we've got one of these in and you can probably see it looks a little bit different. It's a very cool car. Looking at it, I think it's probably just the wing mirrors that haven't been changed. Uh, and maybe the lower bumper bits down here, but that looks awesome. Light bar at the top, and it's one of the nice ones. It's one of the ones that actually curves around and fits the contours of the vehicle. So really well done. Lovely job. The only thing I would say, and I know he's gonna address this with the customer, uh, with the people that fitted it, um, powder coat this. It's not tough, but you can see there we've already got the starting sign of issues. So uh, strip that back, powder coat that. If not, that's never gonna last up there. If you just paint it, well, it will last, but you've got to do a lot of prep work and paint. Just powder coat it, shiny black, job done. Lovely, lovely, lovely vehicle. Massive great wheels. It's got everything on this, limoed out uh, windows so you can't see in the back. Nice privacy. The back of it is just pure black. Fun. So. Uh, very cool car, a little bit jealous to be fair. It's too big for me though, I've got nowhere to park this, but no, very nice if you've got the space. Right, let's deal with what we've got to do. Uh, he had a Brabus Smart, um, and he had a lovely little Focal Eye bus, which is a great little bass driver. And obviously he got very used to that sound. So now, obviously going to this, totally different type of vehicle, much, much bigger, um, but he wants me to put the Focal Eye bus in, and I am think he's making the right decision, because in here, I'll show you, there's not really anywhere. Oh, I'll hide the gloves. It looks a bit uh, suspicious for what he does then. Uh, I feel a little bit heavy, Steve. So, right, um, in here, there's not a lot of space. Obviously, you've got the ability to drop these back, but this one is fully chambered out, essentially. So I won't be going into there with any sub sort of thing. Um, so I think, annoyingly, um, we're gonna have to get it down here. Now, that's not really a problem for us, because he says no one really sits in this chair, and passenger-wise, obviously, people sit in the other places. So uh, we're gonna leave everything else the same, all the speakers are the same, stop for the moment, everything normal, um, and just add the focal light bus down here, and just give them that rumble. Um, it's gonna make your chair vibrate, which you may like a little bit, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, some guys do, some guys don't. I'll leave that to our own personal discretion. And that's the little puppy we're gonna be fitting. Uh, really, really like this unit. Small unit, solid, all aluminium framed everything so I can take it. Um, hence why we can move it from one car to another car to another car without any issue. Um, got nice, easy connections, nothing too complex to set up on there. And then obviously on this side, we get some decent range for what we can do for the filtering. So uh, we do get the ability to drive the front speakers on this system so we can then get amplified signal for those side of it. So that deals with that and it's lovely because we have got high pass filter so we can crisp up the sound a little bit at the front end. And obviously all this is to do with your base side of it. Um, so yeah, just one of my favorite little go-to units because they fit in every car. Right, anyway, I don't think I'll show you fitting it because it's just gonna be a case of plumbing it in down on the chair. So with the magic of editing, and it's in. Well, you can't see it, but trust me, it is down there. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, what well, can you see? I should probably get a torch down here. All good. Right, let's jump in and make sure it's working. And the magic of editing doesn't show you all the bits we have to do to get this stereo out. But yeah, there's quite a lot of work. The whole section has to come out all around here, everything. Um, but yeah, there's the stereo. So we're ready to rock and roll. Good. Sounds all nice in here. Uh, obviously, we've got it down. I don't know if you'll even be able to tell whether this is working or not. Uh, I'll bring the volume up a little bit and I'll bring up the gain control down the bottom here. Now, you may feel the rumble. You can probably see it in the mirror. So, 
I hope you get a good impression of that. Uh, let me just see what it does. A nice quick easy video. Absolutely love these units. Focal iBus. You get it in two flavours iBus 20 or iBus 2.1. The 20 is just the base. The 2.1's got the secondary output for the front door speakers. Works really well in supercars because very small, confined space and you can get everything amplified up. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. Nice short one. Um, and like I say, yeah, check out some of the other videos I've been doing and that you'll see some really cool stuff on there. Um, anyway, hope you're having a great day. Um, like and subscribe as always, guys. Leave a comment. I will get back to them. I've seen some of the comments on there are a bit sort of like, oh, do you know which wire colour does what and things? And I said, I'm not going to go down that route and just become sort of like an answer to because it will just be boring for me, to be honest. This is my profession. I'm not just going to say what I do. But there have been some very cool comments about why we do certain things in cars. And that stuff I will be getting back to you very shortly on. Anyway, guys and girls, obviously, 0.6. Although I need to check it maybe more by now. Um, have a great day and I'll catch you on the next one.